We're going to start to look at the interior of the Jeep and some of the accessories we added for, to the interior. And the first one we're going to start with is the bed rug, uh, which is a full interior liner that we put in the Jeep. Greg, why did we choose bed rug? Well, bed rug, well, actually, to be honest with you, I love bed rug because they're made in Tennessee. Um, bed rug has some really cool features that I wanted. We took the OE original equipment, uh, cargo liner, and the carpet out of the Jeep and replace it with bed rug. Bed rug will not mold, will not mildew. Uh, it is a great fit, easy install. And one of the biggest things was is we were looking for sound deadening from road noise. Uh, bed rug does a great job of helping control road noise from the bigger wheels and tires and just the environment we live in. So if you've got your sounds going on in the Jeep, you're going to hear them and not have to listen to road noise. That was, that was two of the biggest things. Easy to clean, um, it will not mold, it will not mildew. Uh, the bed rug was a simple install and a great fit. So when, when we moved inside the Jeep, we're going to see that a lot of things weren't just about making the vehicle more rugged or more capable, but it's also a very livable, drive, daily drivable type vehicle. We've added a lot of, of accessories that really make this vehicle something that you could use day in, day out, and enjoy the benefits of some of our aftermarket accessories. Uh, we put a full set of Husky liners. This is a cargo liner here in the back. We have the floor liners as well. Uh, Greg, tell us about the Husky liner. Well, the, the one thing I love about Husky liner is they're designed that if you spill a large drink in the floorboard, whether it's in the cargo area, uh, whether it's wherever the kids are sitting, wherever you're getting in and out from, you know, inclement weather, it will keep what you track into the Jeep inside the liner. And that's a very important part of it. Even though we've got great protection from our um, bed rug, this still is a controllable top spill to where it can be gently picked up and disposed of and cleaned very easily. And like Tim said, is the, the utilitarian part of the Jeep is it may be used for the family getaway on the weekend, but mom or dad is going to be sitting in a dress or a suit headed to work Monday. They have to be able to get into a clean environment. So that's the way we've done a lot of the different interior add-ons and upgrades that we've done to NSF-1. And certainly, if you're going to be using this for, like you say, a little adventure driving, a little expedition, you're probably going to be getting muddy. So this, this rear cargo liner, you've got room for boots, you can take off dirty jeans, shirts, jackets, those kind of things, throw them in here, and you're not worried about having to carry bags or something else to put in. You've got a place here to put those types of, of, those types of uh, dirty things that the environment might put on your, on your clothes right here, and you can change and get right in your vehicle and drive away and not worry about what you're doing to the interior of your Jeep. Yeah, same thing with the floor, floor liners up front that you're going to see is, is that as simple as, you know, trekking across your yard in the snow to get in your Jeep, you're going to pick up snow on your boots. And it's got to go somewhere when you get in a warm environment. It's going to go to the floor liner. Husky does a great job, the Husky liners do, of capturing that moisture or whatever is trapped to your boots and keeping it where it belongs, right there inside their map. And that's why we chose Husky liners. Let's go look at the front cargo area. Good deal. We're now going to look, take a look at the interior of the NSF-1 Project Jeep. We were talking in the back about Husky's cargo liner. We also have Husky's floor mats. And of course you see here, right on the top of the mat, Husky guaranteed for life. This is a lifetime type product. Greg, what's your experience with the Husky liner? Well, the, the Husky liners, I've run them in, in several other vehicles and love them. Uh, NSF-1's already been to several outdoor events. And I can promise you this, there have been some muddy events this fall and we haven't got any mud on the carpet yet. It's all stayed in the liner, which is exactly why we used them. They've done a fantastic job. Great fit, great finish, fit exactly where they're supposed to be. And not only the front, but we've got the second seat that runs all the way across as a one piece. Fantastic for kids in the back seat or if you've got some dogs that want to play back there. Uh, Husky does a great job of keeping the mud where it needs to be. We're really fortunate that the folks at Auto Pros Nashville reached out to us and said they would love to help us with this project. They wanted to support veterans as well. And uh, they reached out to CatSkin and we have had made available to us a fantastic set of custom CatSkin seat covers with the NSF-1 logo on it uh, provided. Now, Greg, you were there for the installation. What can you tell us about these seat covers? Yeah, it, it was funny. Dave Eccles had actually contacted us wanting CatSkin and All Pro Nashville uh, was wanting to be part of the of the vehicle build and they wanted to put a set of seat covers on. He gave Donnie and myself the page to go look at how we wanted to build them and ended up, I pretty much turned it over to Dave. They came back, the one, one requirement that I had is, is I wanted to be able to have the NSF logo and printed and that was no problem. They had it done, 
back to us. You can see how they did the same, the, the, the uh, silver stitching, uh, the, the bolster inlay, the seats just fit the vehicle fantastic. It ended up being an all-day job that those guys worked themselves to death and did a fantastic job in what was cool. Here you got a guy working and he's sweating and smiling the whole time because they're proud to be part of the project. So had a great time down there and be going down there again in another week. So it took that stock Jeep interior and really classed it up and made it very comfortable too. Oh yeah, we got rid of the cloth. The cloth seats is what came in our sport. Uh, as you can see, these leather seats not only are a great accent, they're fantastic to sit in and they give a cool look to NSF-1. Uh, so it's not just cool looking, but it is functional and actually it's fun to ride in. Great seat cover. Talking about fun to ride, uh, Auto Pro also is installing for us a kicker car audio system for the Jeep. So we're gonna have not only a comfortable Jeep, but one in which you can ride down the road and you can listen to, uh, to the entertainment you'd like to on your radio. Greg, do you know anything about that system? Well, I know that I know that uh, Kicker is a lot like Catskin was. As soon as they found out what we were doing with the vehicle, uh, they wanted to be part of the build. And the upgrade that we're getting is made specifically for the 2015 Jeep Wrangler JK. I'm still not sure exactly what we're getting. I know that it is a direct install. It's an upgrade to the existing system, and maybe we'll be able to have some tunes after we get it put together. But I'm kind of scared to know what those guys in Nashville are going to end up doing with our Jeep. We talked earlier about the trail rocker that's under the hood, the trail rocker system. You can see the trail rocker panel now that's been installed. That panel, if you didn't know it, looks like it is original equipment in the Jeep. Got great functionality right here in the center, very accessible, and you would not know that's an aftermarket accessory. Yeah, it, it, it's a simple it's a simple snap out of an original piece that that looks like this right here, and and you replace it with the the trail rocker switch panel, and it just snaps right in. It looks like OE, really great fit. Now the one thing I will caution you is is that the rocker switches are not labeled from the factory. They're not labeled from painless wiring. That's something that we did internally here. Again, this was something else that Donnie Hart did. Uh, he was able to, to print those out so I could remember what switch did what. But it is a fantastic way to address wiring up, you know, seven, up to eight different things in one location. So again, painless, a real good fit, real good finish. Uh, and, and it aesthetically looks great in the Jeep. It looks like it should have been here from the factory. Greg, while you're in that area, can you flip open the console? Sure. A couple of other items that we have is the uh, is the insert made by Best Top. What the design of this is for is to be able to add protection to the console from the OE. Original equipment is a plastic design console. Nothing wrong with that. But this is a steel insert that basically goes in, has two set screws to hold it, a place to be able to mount a power point if you want to eventually, but it keeps your valuables protected. It is, it is a great upgrade to be able to be able to drop your wallet in or, or other personal items. Maybe it's your tuner, maybe it's a, um, uh, your, uh, your cell phone, whatever. To, it keeps it protected from you know people being able to get to something they shouldn't be able to. Because sometimes in a Jeep you're running in the summertime, you've got a bikini top, you've got a summer top on it. It is a little more open and accessible and having additional secure storage in a Jeep is a great accessory and really Best Top makes it very affordable as well. And this is not the only piece of Best Top security we've got, lock and security we've got in the Jeep. Yeah, one of the, one of the other pieces that I thought was really a neat piece that's designed by Best Top is it's the under seat box. And what the design of that is, this right here is designed so that you can store your really valuable items such as your handgun, uh, your wallet, you're, you're getting ready to head out on the jet ski, your kayak, you're going out on the boat for the afternoon. Um, you know, any, any way you want to be able to store and protect something and be out of people's eyesight, the, their underseat storage is fantastic. It, it does, they do make it for the driver's side and for the passenger side. We opted driver's side only. But again, simple, straightforward. It's got the uh, really heavy duty lock. It is made of all metal. It is anchored underneath the seat, which means you have to remove the seat to be able to get it out of the vehicle. And it is a great piece to be able to protect your firearms and your wallet. 
And the thing I like about it is when you look at that, if you, if you get in the Jeep and you were to pull that seat back and take a look, you don't even recognize because of that matte black finish, it looks like an OE part of the Jeep. You don't recognize that's an accessory that's there with this capability of providing storage. Correct. It's very discreet. Yeah, and, and, it, and it has a nice fit to the Jeep. It, like you said, it looks like it belongs there. We're very proud of the way NSF-1 came out, and we're very proud of our association with the Navy SEAL Foundation. Their slogan is honoring our warriors and supporting their families. And certainly when we built this Jeep, it was our intent to help the Navy SEAL Foundation do that. And uh, we had a lot of vendors kick in, we're so proud of that. If you'd like to see more about this project, we'd invite you to go to Facebook. We've got the NSF-1 project by AAM, and also follow, go to YouTube, and subscribe to our channel. You can see all the videos are being posted as we have uh, posted the build of the Jeep. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very proud of not only our team of taking the challenge and making it happen, I'm also proud of the manufacturers that stepped up and supported the project. We will be at SEMA 2015. We'll be at booth B40 near the Red Cap booth right in front of Center Hall entrance. If you're gonna be at SEMA, stop by and say hi or at least take a picture and put it out on social media. Like Tim said, hashtag NSF1 on Google will pretty much show you everything from Twitter to Instagram to Facebook. Follow the project because it doesn't just end once we get done with SEMA. It travels to Pacific Northwest. Eventually we'll be at the Moab Easter Jeep Safari all the way through Texas, up the middle of our country, and then eventually ending up all the way down in Jeep Beach at Daytona Beach in April of next year to finally be given away May 2016, we're going to be able to have the Navy SEAL Foundation come in and we'll hand in the keys and they'll officially take delivery of NSF-1. So again, as Greg said, we're very appreciative to all of our sponsors, not just the sponsors, but the people such as Atomic City and RPM that took their time, donated their, their hands, their elbow grease to make this project a reality. Certainly, we are very happy to be able to do this for a very worthwhile cause. Yeah, and our friends at AutoPro are Nashville for stepping up and helping out too. Again, it's, it's fun to have so many people that wanted to help and make this project happen. It's been a family thing that's made it really great. So thanks to everybody. Let's see what it does going into the future. Social media, NSF1, go look for it. You'll find it. Keep up with the travels. Watch what we do with it. Like it, share it, tell your friends. We want everybody to see this awesome project and what it does. And thank you for watching.